few videos circulating YouTube that claim that one miracle of the Quran was that it explained layers of the atmosphere centuries before scientific understanding of the atmosphere. This conclusion is based on the following two verses in the Quran. Surah 229, it is who created for you all that is in the earth. Then turned he to the heaven, and fashioned it, as seven heavens. And he is knower of all things. And, Surah 441, then he ordained them seven heavens in two days, and inspired in each heaven its mandate, and we decked the nether heaven with lamps, and rendered it inviolable. That is the measuring of the mighty, the knower. The video then asserts that the seven heavens actually refer to the layers of atmosphere that surround the earth. It identifies these layers as 1. The troposphere, 2. The stratosphere, 3. The ozone layer, 4. The mesosphere, 5. The thermosphere, 6. The ionosphere, 7. The exosphere. What the great miracle! There actually seems to be exactly seven layers in the atmosphere. There are, however, a few problems with this assertion. First, if you were awake during elementary science class in grade school, you might dismiss this as utter nonsense, because modern science recognizes only five layers, each defined as a distinct layer based on thermal, chemical, dynamic, and density characteristics. Each of these layers is bounded distinctly with a transition zone between these recognized layers. This is a picture of elementary school children laughing. The five layers are 1. The troposphere 2. The stratosphere 3. The mesosphere 4. The thermosphere 5. The exosphere But just for shits and giggles, let's have a closer look. After all, we have all heard of the ozone layer and the ionosphere, the two layers that have been added to the five that are recognized by modern science. Where and what are they? First, let's have a look at the ozone layer. Ozone is mainly found in two regions of the Earth's atmosphere. Most ozone, about 90%, resides in a layer that begins between 10 and 17 kilometers above the Earth's surface and extends up to about 50 kilometers in the stratosphere. The ozone in this region is commonly known as the ozone layer. The remaining ozone is concentrated in the lower region of the atmosphere, the troposphere. This figure shows how ozone is distributed in the atmosphere. Note that ozone actually exists throughout the atmosphere and is not really layered. The ozone layer simply refers to a region where it is most highly concentrated. However, since there are no distinct boundaries where ozone stops and starts, it can hardly be called a layer. Next, let's have a look at the ionosphere. Located within the thermosphere, the ionosphere is made of electrically charged gas particles. The ionosphere extends from 60 to 300 kilometers above the Earth's surface. It is divided into three regions or layers, the F region, E layer, and D layer. During the daytime the F layer splits into two layers and recombines at night. The existence of the ionosphere is due to radiation from the sun striking the atmosphere. As such, it changes in density from daytime to nighttime. All three layers are more dense during the daytime. At night, all layers decrease in density with the D layer undergoing the greatest change. At night, the D layer essentially disappears. Thus, the ionosphere isn't really an atmospheric layer, but rather a region where gas particles in the atmosphere are charged by the sun's radiation. Again, for shits and giggles, let's assume that Islam's God meant for us to recognize these as actual distinct layers. But another problem crops up, once you allow this. If you are going to make these finer distinctions, then you have to recognize that the ionosphere is itself divided into three separate layers, one of which essentially disappears at night. Another question that will come up is that if you count something like the ionosphere, why have you not counted the magnetosphere? The magnetosphere is the region of space to which the Earth's magnetic field is confined by the solar wind plasma blowing outward from the sun, extending to distances in excess of 60,000 kilometers from Earth. In fact, 
Muslims themselves seemed to be confused about which layers God was talking about. At www.miraclesofthequran.com, the seven layers identify the magnetosphere as the seventh layer instead of the ozone layer. Look, guys, if you are going to make up stories, at least get your story straight. So if you account for all possible things that the Quran might refer to as layers, there are at least 10 to choose from. So which seven was Islam's God talking about, exactly?